Mayor Lightfoot did not participate in the forum, her office citing a scheduling conflict, but 11 other candidates did, and they were asked about their solutions to the city's problems. We can't have the next mayor think outside the box. I say rip up the box. At this Northside Synagogue, competing visions for the future of Chicago. As mayor, I would definitely lead uh, with listening and act with compassion. Candidates for mayor offering ideas on how to fight homelessness, improve education, reduce hate, anti-Semitism, and crime. You've got to return to community-based policing so that you know the cops, so the big cars are there, and the, the police officers know the communities that they serve. The beginning or the ending answer is in police. It's about repairing broken neighborhoods. The current field of at least 16 announced candidates will get even more crowded in the morning when Congressman Jesus Chuy Garcia launches a second mayoral bid. Tomorrow's expected announcement comes 40 years to the day Harold Washington announced his run for mayor. He wants to fashion a campaign around a movement, around a coalition, around reform and change in Chicago. And he wants to model that after what Harold Washington did. Before appearing at the forum, Cook County Commissioner Brandon Johnson endorsed by SEIU, one of the state's largest unions. Once I'm mayor of Chicago, every single voice that has been ignored, that has been denied, your voices will be heard. SEIU joins the Chicago Teachers Union in endorsing Johnson. Both unions endorsed Chuy Garcia for mayor in 2015.